Welcome back viewers. In recent times, India has witnessed incidents that raise concerns about the safety and security of religious minorities in the country. Two specific events stand out. Violent clashes during a religious procession organized by the Vishwa Hindu Parishad in New Haryana and a tragic shooting on a moving train in Maharashtra. These incidents have garnered attention and prompted discussions about the need to protect minority communities and ensure communal harmony on july 31st clashes broke out during a religious procession conducted by the vhp in new haryana the situation escalated when a mob attempted to stop the vhp procession resulting in attacks on new's gorakhna temple during the violence the temple's priest was assaulted and multiple vehicles were set on fire Stone pelting further aggravated the situation leading to injuries to several individuals and the tragic death of five people. In the aftermath, no witness the loss of lives while an imam was killed in Gurugram. Later that night, two more individuals including another imam were attacked outside an under construction mosque in Gurugram sector 56. The unrest escalated further. as protesters from two communities clashed near sohana road in gurugram causing damage to vehicles and road blockages authorities responded by deploying paramilitary forces and the haryana special task force in nu prohibitory orders under section 144 were imposed in both gurugram and nu and mobile internet services were suspended in nu district until the situation stabilized As a precautionary measure all schools and colleges in Gurugram and Faridabad were temporarily closed the incident sparked suspicions of a conspiracy leading opposition parties to criticize the government for its failure to maintain law and order in the state the clashes reportedly began when a group of people attacked a VHP rally near Nand village in Nu district allegedly in response to reports of cow vigilant activity and a case involving Monu Manesar who was accused in the death of Nasir and Junaid earlier in the year on the same day a tragic shooting occurred on a moving train from Jaipur to Mumbai in Maharashtra a railway protection force rpf jawan identified as ct chetan opened fire from his official automatic weapon around 5 in the morning killing another rpf colleague his escort duty in charge asi tikaram meena and four passengers on the train which was on the way to Mumbai from Jaipur He fired 12 rounds. The police said of the four others who were shot dead, three have been identified as Asghar Abbas Sheikh 48 and Abdul Qadir Bhai, Muhammad Hussain Bhanpur Wala 62. The fourth is yet to be identified. The incident took place in the B5 coach of the train, raising questions about the safety and security measures on board. The accused constable has been apprehended along with his weapon and investigations are ongoing to determine the circumstances. that led to the shooting the incident has left the nation shocked and highlights the importance of stringent protocols to ensure the safety of passengers during train travel the incidents of violence against religious minorities have also drawn international attention the united states state department released its annual report on religious freedom in which it highlighted attacks against religious minorities in india including muslims and christians The report expressed concerns over open calls for genocide against Muslims, lynching incidents, attacks on places of worship and home demolitions, as well as cases of impunity and leniency towards those guilty of such violence. The US official briefing journalist emphasized India's immense potential but called for the government to condemn violence against religious minorities and hold those responsible accountable. The report is based on direct research and information from media and advocacy groups which have cited instances of home demolitions against Muslims and public flogging of Muslims in Gujarat the home state of Prime Minister Narendra Modi The US CIRF an independent body monitoring religious freedom has also recommended that India be blacklisted by the US State Department due to religiously discriminatory policies targeting religious conversion interfaith relationships the wearing of hijabs and cow slaughter however the likelihood of india being designated as a country of particular concern on religious freedom by the us secretary of state antony blinken remains uncertain due to india's strategic importance as a partner in countering china
the recent crashes in nu and the train shooting in maharashtra highlight the need for india to address concerns about the safety and security of religious minorities the government must take strong measures to prevent such incidents and protect all citizens regardless of their religious affiliations international security underscores the importance of upholding religious freedom and communal harmony in the nation only through proactive efforts and a commitment to inclusivity can india ensure the safety and well-being of all its citizens and that's all folks was bulletin in brief for you stay informed stay connected